Hi guys, it's Dom here from Esports News UK. Uh, I just want to do something a little bit different uh, with this video. I want to do a sort of news roundup uh, of what's been happening in the League of Legends scene, not just in the UK, but um, sort of globally uh, across Europe as well. Looking at some of the esports changes, but also on top of that, just some of the changes that are happening in League of Legends as well. Um, I have had a few people say to me, Dom, why don't you do some news roundups and, and things like that? So I thought, why not start with League of Legends because uh, that's the game that I, I sort of like the most. And um, so, yeah, I've got some news here to round up and uh, let me know what you think of it, guys. OK, so first up, looking back on the news over the past week, um, there's been some changes to Origins roster. Um, Soaz and Amazing are no longer going to uh, no longer going to be a part of the organization um, so they've left and uh, Origins um, got some tryouts going on so Power of Evil and Toaster are going to be participating in those tryouts with other candidates as well um, and Origin have also said that they'll be if they get enough talent they'll be looking to expand uh, to manage a second team and the tryouts will apply for those spots as well Origin has also had some changes to its coaching staff. Uh, Alva Martins no longer going to be the head coach for Origin due to personal reasons. Um, and they've brought in Titus Leduc Hafner back as Origin head coach. Uh, so some changes there. And they're also looking to expand the team and hire uh, some graphic designers and content writers and a video editor as well. Okay, so pre-season is here. Um, season 7 uh, is around the corner and Riot's made a number of changes here. Um, so first up, queues have changed. Uh, normal draft have been removed from all regions except uh, North America, Europe, West and Brazil. And um, solo duo queue is on its way back, um, apparently November the 14th. And flex queue is a ranked queue that's been introduced. That uh, It's kind of like dynamic, but uh, Riot have said it's been set up to reward more organized team play allowing one two three or five players within one tier of each other to queue up together um, and they've got they want to evolve flex to evolve based on queue health they've said um, and this has drawn uh, some controversies uh, already some criticism uh, even tabs has said after two flex, flex queue games I can safely say this game mode is a meme and there's been a lot of reports where sort of silver and gold players have been uh, put in uh, with diamond players going up against diamond and platinum players uh, and even plat 5 players with challenger players so it's a bit uh, all over the place at the moment and then uh, there's been some criticism around removing normal drafts um, uh, Goalzeb on Reddit said blind pick is like a toxic hell where you need to fight for your lame. I don't know why Riot is removing normal draft. So Riot's responded to some of these criticisms uh, on the forums and they've said um, they're sorry when they talk about Q health, they're looking at how quick you can get into a game and how balanced that game is. Obviously it's not that balanced. Um, and they've said there can only be a certain amount of trade-off between these to adjust the other, i.e. get a wider skill range for a shorter queue time or wait a longer time for a smaller skill range. They said they're aware of the pain point this has introduced for some people uh, and they want to give, a, uh, give these queues a chance at remaining healthy and enjoyable for players. Um, but they said they're keeping a close eye on things and will make decisions based around the overall health of queue times and matchmaking. Okay, so obviously some of the major changes coming through into pre-season, patch 6.22 is the Assassin rework. So a bunch of champions have been um, have, have received a rework. Talon, Rengar, Katarina, LeBlanc, um, Shaco and a few others. So there's been some changes to some items and um, also how invisibility works as well. Um, and uh, pink wards have been removed and replaced by control wards which can... Um, reveal and disable nearby wards and traps and then possibly the biggest change um, has been uh, the introduction of plants into the jungle so you've got that blast cone that can knock away uh, champions and you can hop over the wall into the dragon pit and stuff like that and then you've got a, um, a plant that gives you vision and a plant that gives you health and, and gives you a slow as well they've also um, removed the smite buffs from jungle camps jungle monsters and they've changed some of the camps as well so the blue and the red buff no longer have the uh, small little minions with them 
and there's more uh, chickens and um, there's more krugs as well that sort of divide into more of those guys and so the the plants have been uh, it's been sort of mixed reception to them there's been quite a lot of criticism around them as well and probably one of the more um, vocal uh, critics of, of plants in the jungle has been Shacklone uh, and there's a video of him here sort of getting getting to grips with it I mean look at this shit fucking RNG plants oh that was fun hoo hoo hee hee Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my God. Oh, there is another one. He did put a few videos out there saying that he, it, what, implying that he was going to sort of quit League of Legends if they keep up these with these plants and also the Shaco rework he wasn't happy with as well. But he's since put another video out saying he will be playing it just to keep his elo up, just maybe not as much. Uh, and there was this n another video here from Rush's stream. Um, showing a player using uh, the blast cone, blast cone um, plant to hop over the wall, smite the blue buff and then get out, uh, get away again using one of his tunnels. So players are sort of getting used to uh, the plants and everything. What's my R? What? What is that shit? <laughs> So Shaklone has uh, also um, put a tweet out which got 311 retweets um, saying why is this guy allowed to ruin the game again tell me something about corruption and he's sort of uh, he's mentioning the courage of the Colossus uh, new mastery where you gain a shield for 10 plus temper level plus 7 percent of your max health for each nearby enemy champ for four seconds after hitting an enemy with um, hard crowd control. 30 second cooldown and then he sort of linked to um, Joe Greylock, uh, Riot Fearless who's a lead designer for League of Legends and he's a silver jungle man that plays a lot of jungle um, tank champions so you know he's, he's criticised him but to be fair to Joe he has responded to a lot of the criticism around plants and, and the changes uh, and someone has asked if you totally hate plants would you, if we totally hate plants would you reintroduce or rework camp smites and he said he would uh, rework or remove plants as possibilities there but the flaws of smite rewards would be unchanged going to talk more about smite reward problems soon and then just to give a bit of a balanced view um, I'm a cutie pie I said plants are fun as fuck so why did people complain about them so uh, yeah mixed sort of reception so other changes then, uh, the open beta for the new League of Legends client is now live, um, so you can go try that out. Um, Riot's also introduced replays and practice mode um, into League. So the replay um, feature is currently live on the alpha client at the moment. There's also a um, new rotating game mode queue now live, so Ascension's in there which is like the old Crystal Scar um, map I think and that's going from November 11th to 14th and then from the 18th to 21st and then one for all mode is coming back from 25th of November to 28th and then the 2nd of December to the 5th of December and then uh, Riot's looked back on Season 6 and has uh, provided the five champions that were the, that had the highest win rates uh, across all the patches throughout 2016 you got Kale in the top lane, Amumu uh, in jungle, Galio mid Cogmore, ADC and Sona as support and there's a few fan favourites there and there's some more other stats and, and facts that they've released so for example Gangplank had the highest average gold per game of any champion in season 6 and this is a good stat, I like this one, over a billion Teemos were killed in season 6 so in other news Riot's released uh, first details of Elementalist Luck skin which is a new um, ultimate tier skin that's going to cost 3250 RP and it's a skin that can uh, has 10 different forms you start off at, um, as in light form and then as you play you get access to um, other elements you've got nature air fire and water and then you get later on in the game a sort of second element choice so you can blend two together so for example if you blend water with air you'll turn into an ice form and um, yeah there's 10 forms all together loads of new um, voice lines and uh, par particle effects and everything like that so that hits in the next patch 6.23 and is on the public beta at, at the moment so elsewhere there's also a rumour um, this was a week or so ago that uh, EDG has apparently offered four million dollars to Faker to try in an attempt to sign him but um, I haven't seen anyone do any stories around this tweet and it's a tweet from the head coach at Echo Fox so 
who knows? Could be a load of rubbish, could be something to it. Uh, but no one's really looked into it that much. Uh, Faker did renew his current contract with SKT uh, about this time last year, but the duration and pay is apparently unknown there. So, um, And Faker recently also revealed in a recent interview a couple of days ago that he, he said, I watch my highlights more than anyone else. I read all the articles and community posts about me. So there you go if you want to write something, uh, and um, he'll probably read it. Uh, and then finally, Riot has um, released some new uh, statues of Katarina, Ash, and Vi. Uh, they're currently 65 euros or 65 dollars, uh, and they're available for pre-order um, shipping in December. And it's sort of a move away from their sort of um, cartoony figures. But uh, anyway, guys, yeah, that's most of the sort of news I wanted to highlight and throw out there. Let me know what you thought of this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, thinking of making this into a sort of weekly series. So, um, yeah, cheers for watching, guys. See you later.